Remember, two sides of the split definition process. A single bridge learns what it needs for its relating life and then educates its partner. The broad split lets its partner know what it needs and then the relationship can flower. If that basic split is running around without awareness, guess what? Constantly going to be blaming self or other and never being aware of how to make decisions correctly for itself so that it can have a healthy, wholesome, (laughs) whole relationship. Now, let's go look at Grace Kelly. She was an American actress, and after starring in really significant films in the early, mid-1950s, she actually became the Princess of Monaco. She married Prince Rainier III in April of 1956. So the triple split, the moment that you have these three areas, in fact, you do not have an interest in being whole. Remember that. Triple split is a different beast, different animal, different creature. When we're looking at a triple split, these three areas of activation, that is where, right here, the most tricky part of instantly like looking at a chart. This is where you use the software to see what kind of split it is if you don't have this down because you can still even make mistakes if you're doing things too quickly. Um, You can see that that looks like these two aspects are connected, but they're not, okay? So they're not right there. So when you're dealing with that triple split definition, this these three different areas, they're not interested in being whole. Remember that. Triple splits and splits are vastly different from each other and how they meet others. So the way a triple split finds wholeness is simply through the mundane movement of its life. In other words, it moves through life and through the public aura. This is the way in which the zones find a continuity in their process. They need the exposure to the public aura. We use public aura for triple split, maybe for wide split once in a while, but more specifically, the basic split is looking for specific others, just like the quad. Basic and quad are similar. Triple split, completely different creature needs movements, the mundane movement through life in order to synthesize. This is their information process, synthesize. Okay, synthesize large amounts of information. So here we see Grace Kelly, Prince Rainier, and his design is a 4-6 manifesting generator, whereas she is a 1-3 generator. You can see together it's a single definition and the 9 and 0, nowhere to go. So very locked in to this relationship she is. So what Ross says about this is that triple splits do not like being locked into a relationship that locks them into what is an artificial wholeness that they're very conscious of, the fact that it's coming from the other person. So in other words, they're conscious of being, and so Ra was going to say something like trapped, imprisoned, but let's just call it limited, because remember, they need freedom of movement. So they can feel limited, very limited, by somebody who is constantly, consistently hooking up all those aspects, trapped. So for the triple split, I would not recommend that they live and breathe and eat and, you know, the same uh, place all the time with this partner because it's going to, at some point, feel limited. Mm you know, maybe get frustrated and stuck if they're generated. They're not, they're not going to feel that need or they, they feel the need. They don't have the fulfillment of that need for movement. Movement is the most important thing for the triple. So let's go look at the um, details of their chart even more. This is a cool story. So it was a romance that captivated the world and a marriage that kept us entranced. They were two incredibly powerful people coming together to lead a country, remember it's Monaco, into the future. She was a world famous actor who rose up from the suburbs. He was the playboy prince of a tiny European principality who always knew what a luxurious life looked like. They met in France at a film festival, I believe is why she was there, courted for a short while, got engaged in Philadelphia, and then went back to Monaco, okay? So Monaco was 
where he was the prince, he ascended in 1949 to the throne. And they spent their lives building up their tiny little nation. They had three children who would go on to create families who are still in the upper echelons of wealthy society. So what happened was once they got together, engaged, married, and in fact, her family paid him a dowry, which is like kind of mind blowing. And I don't know exactly how much money, but it was a lot of money. Um, she put her acting career on an indefinite hiatus, devoted herself to charity, motherhood, and supporting her husband. Supporting. Can you see how this woman would definitely want to support her husband? What is she? She's defense. She's about making babies. I imagine she probably had good birthing hips and could give him the heir to his throne, his dynasty. So, yeah, power behind the throne. Even though he doesn't have a 45, this is somebody who finds fulfillment in supporting their partner. Okay, so she did give up the world of film. And at one point, Prince Rainier was actually um, courting the idea of Mar Marilyn Monroe instead of Grace Kelly. And when Prince Rainier chose Grace Kelly, Marilyn wrote to her and said, congratulations for getting out of this business. Grace gave up the business, gave herself her life to supporting her husband. And yet at the very end, there's no public proof, just rumors. She, there was a um, story that she would get away to her private apartment in Paris often so that she could have space. And some people might extrapolate meaning of, oh, she didn't like being in relationship with him. Well, yeah, a, a basic split, you know, a majority of the population's basic split. It's about half, <laughs> but that's the, um, the myth, right? All the love songs created by us basic splits longing for the other and this is what you know romance is supposed to be like wholeness unity all the time same place you know whatever no not for these two what you're looking at is two triples so they need space it's particularly she's a one three that third line needs space and you can see ooh, we'll talk about this when we get to harmony and resonance but look at those profiles they're similar enough harmonic to be very comfortable but not exactly the same so they're still interesting to each other so both triple splits that's a fabulous fine kacha thank you so much okay quadruple split here's the big kicker <laughs> all right look at this there's a quadruple split in front of you see all the four different activations they're rarer than reflectors you don't find very much about quadruple split on the internet. This is David Dushvini. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Sorry, David. I know him, you know, he's very familiar, right? Uh, American actor, writer, producer, director, novelist, singer, songwriter, even. What a fascinating design he's got here. That is a beautiful design. Quads, remember, this is four areas of definition. This is someone who most likely will play favorites at work. This is somebody who is not here to be bridged necessarily by the same person because what tends to happen is there's usually two people that they, they favor. And who are they gonna favor? Go back to their parents, look at the parents chart, and then find that favorite bridge right there in those people that they really like hanging out with. Okay, you're going to find it. Because remember, with a basic and a quadruple split, there is a specific way that they like to be bridged. They prefer to be bridged. That specific way is what that other person is bringing to the table. More often than not, quads get along with people who have a lot of openness. Why? Because this is the process of assimilation that is more about their own personal experience. It's subjective. So there's not a lot of space for another person to bring in all of their activations and not feel some kind of challenge because both parties are going to be compromised if there's a lot of definition, right? And these are not compromised masters like the reflectors are. These are people who are subjective. They have favorites. 